cardenal Luis Antonio Tagle, eh, después nos, no, nos, nos dirá por qué le llaman Chito. Chito, sí. Luisito. Luisito. Luisito, eso Chito. ¿Ah? Chito. Diminutivo. Diminutivo. El diminutivo filipino. Es el cardenal arzobispo de, de Manila. Es eh, una gran personalidad en la Iglesia Católica en estos momentos. Eh, todavía no tiene 60 años pero ya ha publicado cantidad de libros, es un prestigioso biblista, es el presidente de Cáritas Internacionales desde hace poco tiempo y eh, ya fue papable en el anterior conclave, <risa> por, al menos por parte de los periodistas y lo seguirá siendo yo creo que con mucho más en el próximo conclave que esperamos que, que sea lo más tarde posible. ¿no? ¿Le molesta que los periodistas le consideremos papable? Well, a little, a little, but uh, I know it is a, 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 a joke, una chance, como no se broma. dice, una, sí, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, 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 uh, I don't take it seriously, you know, it's, uh, the, uh, anyway, it's the cardinals who will vote, not the uh, journalists. <laughs> <laughs> Pero alguien dice que podría ser usted el nuevo Pablo VI después de un nuevo Juan XXIII? Oh, I, I don't know. No. Uh, I know. It's, uh, it, uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit is, is free to, uh, to, uh, to act. No? Yeah, so. Decía esta mañana, me decía usted esta mañana cuando le planteaba esta misma cuestión en privado, pobre iglesia. Sí. <laughs> Yes, I know, I know myself, I know uh, my capacities, uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> eh, hay que darle tiempo a Francisco que concluya su obra, ¿no? Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Cree que una vez que concluya podría renunciar como hizo Benedicto? Yes, uh, he himself said that what Pope Benedict did uh, is not just a personal choice, it could be considered even institutional. So he, Pope Francis seems to be saying that uh, future popes can do the same thing. So, uh, yeah, El so there is a possibility. Possibility. El Papa habla de eso? O, o no, 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 no habla de, yeah. de retirarse a Argentina, no, no, no. He, está he centrado en su misión. Sí, 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 sí. And, uh, you know, Pope, Pope Francis has a way of, uh, he knows when to say things publicly, but he also keeps in his heart some things, and then we are just surprised, you know, when uh, he does something, so we wait. <laughs> Eh, lo, los últimos atentados en Europa, tal tanto en Bruselas, el sí. atentado en Asia, en Pakistán, ustedes y nosotros sufrimos la lacra del terrorismo, ¿qué podemos hacer? ¿Qué siente primero ante esas situaciones, ante esos atentados y cómo frenarlos? Yes. The, uh, the roots of uh, all of these uh, attacks are very complex, but also very real. First is, uh, we should look at the social reasons why young people are attracted to join fundamentalist and uh, rigid, narrow uh, terrorist groups. Some experts have already studied and they said that young people who feel marginalized, those who are not integrated into the community, those who feel they don't have any opportunities or a bright future, there is anger, there is frustration. And so they are vulnerable for uh, this uh, type of uh, attraction. So there is a social issue here that we should uh, address. How are people, especially those who were uh, born into minority uh, families, minority because of religion, of 
culture or countries of origin, how are they accepted in the wider community? But there is also another uh, element, and it is the political. You know? uh, we don't fully understand <laughs> what these problems are between the politicians, between uh, opposition and uh, those in power. You know? There is a lot of hidden political issues and uh, concerns that uh, create this mentality of uh, self-defensiveness and uh, counter-terror. Uh, counter and third is, uh, as for the church, how could we bring all the religions into a rational, reasonable approach to human life? We differ from each other, but there are many points that we can hold in common, especially when it comes to a more humane, human, and reasonable approach to problems. El, el Islam necesitaría un Vaticano II. Some, some, uh, some uh, Muslim scholars believe that Islam needs a second Vatican Council, meaning uh, they need to study how the truths of their religion could dialogue with the changing world. Because Vatican II did not change the Bible, did not change the teachings of the Church, but studied how the teachings of the Church could connect with the changing world. And some experts in Islam said they need to do that. How? We do not know. Because uh, at least in the Catholic Church, you have a, a clear hierarchy. You know, the Pope can call for a, 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 a ecumenical uh, council. But for Islam, who? Who will do that? Who will call that? No? So uh, we hope, I, I personally hope you know, that uh, something like that could happen to them. Eh, cambiamos de tercio. El próximo día 8 de este mes, sí. eh, el Papa publica la exhortación por sinodal. Eh, ¿Conoce algo? Tiene, ¿Por dónde cree que va? ¿Cuáles son? ¿Hacia yeah. dónde apunta? I, I have not read the, uh, I have not read the, uh, the uh, uh, exhortation, no? but uh, I believe the Holy Father will uh, follow the major lines, lines of uh, or orientation that were discussed during the 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 two synods, extraordinary and ordinary mm -hmm. synods. And what are those? One is uh, to encourage people to take the family as a beautiful reality. The family is good news. It's a uh, evangelio. <laughs> it is not bad news, no? And so to, to affirm that, no? The beauty of the family, the beauty of the human person, the beauty of relationships and life. Also, I think the Holy Father will also uh, affirm, yes, there are many uh, uh, wounds in the, the families. Many families have difficulties, relationships, etc. Okay? How can the church, instead of the church uh, avoiding them and the people who have problems feeling that they are left alone, how can they be brought to the wider family of the church? even when their situation is not perfect. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the third is uh, the family has a mission. Who will 
proclaim the faith. So, it, it is the family. The family becomes the missionary you know, for the whole church. Within the family, the parents uh, being missionaries to their children, you know, and then the families becoming missionaries to other families, you know, the families to uh, evangelize the whole of society. For example, uh, in Asia, I don't know here in, in Spain, in Asia, some families, you know, they use or misuse or abuse family ties you know, for corruption. Uh, they do illegal things and they say we are doing this for the family. You know? So the family uh, uh, should be uh, the, the source of truth, justice, integrity in society. You know? and the family should not be uh, used for wrong things in, uh, in society. So uh, I believe those are some of the things that uh, uh, I, I am not sure, but uh, maybe those are the things that will uh, come up. Vamos hacia una integración, una integración, un proceso de integración de los heridos en la familia. Integración en la iglesia, poco a poco, en proceso. Poco a poco, proceso, sí, uh -huh. sí. Y, y, y hay, espera alguna sorpresa. ¿Nos va a dar el Papa alguna sorpresa en la exhortación? ¿Espera usted? Uh, I, I don't want to, <laughs> to, to say because uh, I, have not, uh, I have not read the, uh, the, the exhortation. No. Los divorciados vueltos a casar, ¿podrían integrarse, entrar en ese proceso de integración? We, we will see how that, uh, that uh, concern will be addressed. No? Because during the Synod, during the Synod, there, there were uh, many voices saying, yes, let us try to find ways of integration. Not just uh, receiving communion, no? but other, there are many, many ways of, uh, of uh, achieving that integration. Mm -hmm. okay. Estamos en el año de la misericordia. Eh, es, va a quedar esto en el pontificado del Papa Francisco, el año de la misericordia, se va, va a pasar a la historia con el Papa de la Misericordia, mm -hmm. eh, todo centrado un poco en torno a esa palabra que es una clave de su pontificado. Yeah, I think it is possible to, uh, to uh, say that. Of course, uh, every pontificate is, is rich. No? Uh, for example, Pope Francis is the first pope also to issue an encyclical on ecology, mm -hmm. on the environment, no? So, uh, yes, mercy is one of the main themes, but uh, it will not be enough or sufficient to, uh, to capture the, the wealth of uh, the whole pontificate. But uh, I believe, I believe, even, even the concern for the environment could be seen from the perspective of mercy you know? uh, because the abuse of the earth, abuse of the environment is, an, is a lack of mercy. You know? So uh, yes, I, I, uh, I can somehow see that mercy could be a, a, a key to the teachings and the pastoral approach of Pope Francis. Espera que el Papa pueda ir a China, a China continental. He, he desires, uh -huh. he wants to. Está más cerca. We, we hope. <laughs> <laughs> we hope, we hope. I believe that uh, uh, with Cardinal uh, Parolin, the Secretary of State, you know, the Vatican is trying its best to uh, have a, 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 a more decent relationship with the government of China. If not full diplomatic uh, relationship, at least some uh, steps 
towards that. Asia is one of the continents preferred of the Papa. Por ser papa y por ser jesuita, los jesuitas, sí, desde Francisco Javier, Javier Asia, Mateo Ricci, Mateo Ricci y sí, todos sí. los demás. Eh, no. ¿Por qué Asia se está convirtiendo en la nueva frontera del catolicismo? First, Asia is the biggest continent. No. Uh, two thirds of uh, the world is in Asia, but in Asia, you have the smallest number of Christians. No? This is a mystery because if you consider uh, the Holy Land, uh, Israel, uh, all the holy biblical sites, Middle East, that is part of Asia. So Jesus was born in Asia, but it is in Asia where he is least or very little known. No? Menos en Filipinas. Uh, menos allá. But half of the Christian population of Asia is in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. yeah. So imagine how the, the other countries are very few, very few. But even if the number of Christians is small, uh, there is a lot of young the youth who are very active in church. Asia is a very young continent. The majority of the peoples of Asia are young. There is enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Enthusiasm. There is a search for... Uh, Muchas vocaciones. Vocaciones, sí, also. And there is also a lot of suffering. And this suffering produce has produced a lot of martyrs 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 and when there are martyrs you could see the uh, growth growth of uh, of uh, the San, church sangre de mártires semilla sí, de cristianos sí, 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 sí. so uh, there is there is hope no there is hope because there is much uh, youthfulness and also a lot of suffering es usted el presidente de Caritas Internacionales y por lo tanto es usted, eh, digamos, el, el representante de la misericordia en activo del Papa. Es un gran peso, ¿no? Una sí, gran responsabilidad. Yes. It's a great responsibility, but I also uh, I am like a, I am like a student. I am learning. I am learning through mercy, misericordia. <laughs> A compassion also in uh, in uh, the the work of Caritas, and uh, I am also filled with hope because when we visit uh, places where there are a lot of suffering people, I see the strength of human beings, and I see the dignity of the human spirit. You know, that suffering cannot uh, eliminate or or cannot kill. So, uh, uno de los que sufren son los refugiados. Sí, eh, sí. Es una vergüenza lo que hace Europa con los refugiados. Yeah. It is. Uh, I. I. Uh, of course, I also understand the uh, concerns of the European governments, but. I also would want to see you know, uh, countries with a heart, you know, more heart. As I, I went to Lebanon. Lebanon is a very small country. Mm -hmm. The population is four million. You know, they accepted two million, two million refugees. <laughs> if a small country like Lebanon could open its doors to two million uh, refugees, uh, maybe other countries could do the same. No? Uh, and I am also wondering, because many countries of the world, their people also became refugees and migrants to other parts of the world during the wars. 
during catastrophes. So uh, it, uh, we just have to learn how to help and assist one another. And besides, the refugees and the migrants can help in the uh, society, in the economy, in the growth of the countries that receive them. You know? uh, migrants and uh, refugees are not always uh, problems. They also can contribute very well to the growth of the country that mm -hmm. uh, accepts them. Terminamos con el Papa, no quiero cansarle más. Eh, el Papa Francisco es un milagro. Es un milagro. Es, es un, un, milagro. un milagro de Dios. Un, uh, <laughs> well, un can, regalo. Yeah, un regalo. Yeah. Uh, we, we can say that uh, the past 60 years, the church has received many miracles and gifts from God. We have had very good popes you know, and many saintly popes. Uh, John the Twenty Third is now a saint. John Paul the Second is now a saint. Paulo Sesto is also a, a beato. You no, know? uh, 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 Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, a great theologian, and then we have Pope Francis. You no, know? uh, so each one is a gift given by God at a moment in the life of the church and uh, God knows what gift he will give and now we have this beautiful gift Pope Francis you know uh, from the ends of the earth <laughs> from uh, Argentina you know Argentina. and he brings he brings to the uh, to the universal church you know uh, a way of speaking about Jesus, a way of living the Christian faith that is uh, very down to earth, very simple, very direct to people, and yeah, it, it's a gift. Usted mantiene una relación muy fluida con él, se vio en el viaje sí, a, a Filipinas sí. que... Sí, 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 because uh, we, before, we worked together from 2005 to 2008, uh, in the Council of the Synod of Bishops. So we know each other. So uh, we used to just joke, joke, joke. <laughs> and now he's the Pope, so, but uh, he, he continues to be a simple person and uh, uh, a good, good friend. Thank you very much. Oh, Muchísimas thank you. Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. gracias.